let's explore cloning. Cloning is a very useful thing to know how to do because it can save you a whole lot of time. There are many situations in a game where you may want an actor to copy itself, especially games um, such as shooting asteroids, those sorts of games where once you've destroyed something, you'd like it to regenerate in a different location. So you can do all those sorts of things. Um, but it, it can also just be really useful to create multiple instances of the same object for the sake of maybe background decoration. So that's what I'm going to do in this tutorial. I'm going to create five clones of a cloud so that I can have six clouds nicely positioned up the top of my stage. So uh, first things first, we grab an on start button. And then we need to look for some cloning blocks. The easiest way to find those is by typing clone into the search field and you'll see quite a few different ones here. We need a clone startup block, which is kind of the same as the on start block, but just for clones, this is um, specific instructions that every new clone will listen to as soon as they come into existence. And then we need to have a create clone of block. So we are creating a clone of the cloud, so we will just go cloud. And you could also do self. Now, because I want five of these clouds in addition to the original, I need to also go to the control menu and find a repeat block. And I will put in five for the number of times this cloning is repeated. Now, if we press play at this point, you won't see six clouds, and that's because we have actually got six clouds on the stage. It's just that they're all in exactly the same spot. So they're all kind of lined up behind each other because we haven't put anything into our clone startup area. So we haven't told these clouds where to go when they appear. So let's do that now. I would like my clouds to generate somewhere in the top half of the stage. And if we have a look at our graph, so I've just turned that graph on, we can see that X and Y zero is the dead center of the stage. So X is the horizontal axis and Y is the vertical axis, so up and down. So I know that I want my clouds to appear somewhere above Y zero. So going up from zero all the way up to 384 Y, somewhere here. And in terms of where they are positioned on the X axis, so that means going left to right, well, I'm really happy for them to appear, to appear anywhere between the outer left side of the stage, which is negative 682X, and all the way over to the far right-hand side of the stage, which is 682x. So now that I know that, that will help me to uh, put some instructions in for my clones. So the first block we need to find is the go to block. Now that's in the motion menu. Um, and this one's the one we're after. Go to x and y because we really want to specify where in terms of X and Y our clouds generate. So let's grab that. Now we want them to generate randomly. So I need to go and find a block that will enable us to do that. And this is the one here that I like to use, pick random. And we'll need two of those because we will need one for the X and one for the Y. So let's pop those in there. So picking random location for X anywhere between, turning our grid on, negative 682, or I might make it negative 640 because I don't want half the cloud hanging off the stage, um, and 
682, so I'll say 640. Positive 640. And then in terms of our y axis or the y location, we see that y0 is this point here. So anywhere between 0 and the top of the stage, which is 384, so I'll say 340. Okay, now let's just turn our grid off and have a look to see if that's worked. And that looks good. And so every time I press stop and play, you'll notice that those clouds generate into different locations because it's random. Um, now, the other thing you can do is have this generation of clouds, have the cloning occur on a particular event. So for instance, if we um, pressed the space bar, and I'll grab this block here, when, not the up arrow, when the space bar is pressed, then we want the clones to appear. So no clones are going to appear until I've pressed the space bar. Now, um, this will show you something interesting that we all have to be careful of. I'll press the space, I'll press play, nothing's happening. As you can see, it's just waiting for me to press the space bar. And then when I press the space bar, there are my clouds. But what if I press the space bar again? more clouds and again more clouds and so you really have to be careful when you're using the clone tool that you have put some conditions in there that will take care of stopping the cloning from happening you need it to stop at some point so that's just something to be aware of i hope that helped and i'll see you next time